I grew up in Junction Road and went to Horswell School and uh, my grandparents lived quite near where I do now, up in Kennedy's Bush. I kind of feel like that's my place, my turn on the highway. My interests have been largely green and probably quite about social justice as well. And my PhD was about how communities adapt, so it's about resilience and adaptation again. Spokes. We do quite a lot of work putting in submissions and thinking about how to encourage cycling. In order to be effective as a cycling advocate, you have to learn about all the layers of transport planning. So we're putting in submissions right across sort of regional and national government as well as in local government. It, it's hard not to look at the big picture. <laughs> well, Halls was my local community. I grew up in Halls, but I moved back about 13 or 14 years ago. A few years ago, I resigned from a job that I had that was quite full on and decided that what I really wanted to do was go and work in my own community because I'd been busy working in other people's communities. And I really didn't have any connections in Horswell at all and I suddenly realised there was no way to, no way to find out. It's really hard to find out what's going on in my community. Uh, there were no notice boards, there were no, there's no obvious central place. After a, a year of thinking and then getting my business established, I thought, oh well, okay, uh, perhaps the best thing I can do is just start a newsletter. And that's what I did. I started a newsletter and uh, it's grown over time. And that newsletter enabled me to have more conversations with people and, and then the earthquakes happened. Things just stopped for a little while. And I thought, well, I can either panic <laughs> or I could build a website. So I ended up having a lot of coffee. Then uh, somebody turned up one day, this woman, Phil, she'd just moved into Hallsville. She said, Hallsville needs a market. And so she was a great person and we, we set about starting a market. For, for a few months we were just, it was just conversations and we, and we were trying to work out how to do it. So we started at St Luke's Church and we ran a pretty little market for the first few times but we got, kind of got how you do it and people started to know a bit more about it and then after a while we moved to St John of God. I wouldn't say we're in safe territory yet, I think if we don't keep working really hard to get people to it and we don't keep keeping our stall holders happy, we, we will, could still fall over. It's quite a long term process getting a market established. You know, it, it won't fall over easily now, you know, and we know what we're doing. How do you help new people who are coming in to connect up to the community? And one of the things that we've done is to develop welcome bags. So they're just a bag and we get community groups and um, all the kind of things that are going on in Halls to put information into the bag. Move into the area, somebody knocks on the door and says here's a welcome bag. I want to see someone who knows Horswall represent Horswall. And I, and I want pe people to have the option to vote for that. And if we can build strong communities who can participate meaningfully in things that affect them, we're going to have a fantastic Christchurch.